Oh, it's 11 11. Look at that. That's my time. Yo, I'm Empress Linoleum. Those of you who don't know me, um, I'm a music producer, do a bit of illustration on the side as well, and I really care about the environment and the planet and climate change. Why I started this series originally. And yeah, I just talk about trash, the environment, um, my little zero waste journey. I try to be as plastic free as I can be. Sometimes that looks not as great as I want it to, and other times it's like hitting all the marks here. So it, yeah, it's it's a journey and I think that it's kind of like, you never really reach the goal, you just kind of get better and better and you keep learning and things keep going. But yeah, so I've got a very exciting product to share with you guys today. Um, so these are the Urban Ears in-ear headphones. They're not so different from AirPods in like the way they look. They come in like this funky little blue box. And yeah, let's get opening and have a look. So first off, I can notice, obviously cardboard box, which is good. Minimal kind of like, it's not all printed. It's just the bit of paper that's like printed. Like this is all quite minimal, which is obviously good. When you first open it, you've got this little bit of paper that says, for a happier planet, we've excluded the USB-C charging cable. We figured that most people already have a few of them at home. And if you don't and you need one, just scan the QR code and follow the instructions. Then we've got them in the box. Obviously, yeah, no cable, just the box. Got a little bit of paper around it. Absolutely plastic free, like in the packaging. Not one bit of plastic. Um, and I will also mention that these wireless earbuds are made from 91% recycled plastics. Not something that you see in tech. A lot so these guys yeah they're really like changing the game i did a bit of research the recycled plastic comes from like old air conditioning units so the stuff that was gonna obviously like either get incinerated or put in landfill or just yeah dumped so dumped in the sea maybe look how cute they look um and yeah inside you've got them the focus maybe isn't as good as i want it to be here we go here we go cute man they're cute they're cute Originally, I was gonna get the other ones that don't have the little silicone bit on it, but I've got tiny little ears, and I'm just very aware of the fact that most in-ear headphones don't actually fit inside my ears. <laughs> um, but yeah, also wanna shout out um, Canoe Inc, Danny, you're a legend for hooking these up for me. Um, I was supposed to do this review like a month and a half ago, um, but long story short, had a little bit of an accident, um, got run over. Yeah, it was a hit and run, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail, because, like, that's not what this video is about. But, um, I sustained an injury, got a bit... <laughs> getting too excited. Um, got a broken leg, I haven't had to have surgery, and luckily it's not a weight-bearing bone. So yeah, I had to deal with some stuff mentally. Um, and yeah, that just meant that I kind of wasn't really feeling being in front of a camera and like talking and pretending to be happy, happy, happy when I wasn't really feeling that way. So I thought I'm just gonna wait until I actually feel like I wanna do this. I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So yeah, let's get stuck in. And yeah, let's connect these. Okay, they're already connected, lovely. These are probably like more high tech than my phone at these days because I've got a literal iPhone 7. The Stone Age cord, they want their bow back. Okay, so let's have a listen. Uh, one thing I will say, every time I touch it, the music stops, but sometimes it will skip the song and I'm, I still haven't quite figured out how that works. Okay, so I tapped it once, that's paused it. I feel like there's a certain place that I need to be tapping, but I'm not sure where it is. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's playing again now. I need to figure that out. And then, what, is it two taps? We'll skip the song. Let's figure it out. Okay, so two taps skips the song. 
that side. If I do it this side, does it go back? No, it just skips it, okay. It just goes on to the next song. So two taps, it goes on to the next song. One tap, pauses it, one tap, okay. Cool, got it. They don't have like too much high end. Cause uh, the, uh, the headphones I was using before had too much high end on them. They were just a bit like, I can't explain the sound. It was like, it, it, it was past the point of being like bright and shiny and like nice sparkly high end. It was like sharp, even on like well mastered songs. You could hear like kind of a frequency. It, they were just not good. So this doesn't have that at all. Yeah, I can hear all the different instruments like well. Um, here's a little bit more information as well that's written on the box. Um, so because we want to fit a lot of earbuds into one transport and also plastic and it's also plastic free and made from 80%. I can't read. <laughs> Basically, the, the box is so small because they want to fit as many into one transport so that they don't have to be constantly, uh, you know, that the transport is limited. We're in the run to become circular and climate neutral by 2030. That's sick. So they're trying to become completely circular. I guess that means that all their waste goes back into their production so that they don't create any waste. Um, and then they want to be climate neutral by 2030, so I guess like carbon neutral, um, like not using loads of water for production, electricity as well. So the ones that I don't have, um, the other ones that don't have the little silicon thing, they are made from 97% recycled plastic, which is obviously really good. These ones are 91% just because of the little silicone tip. Um, I would have liked to go for the other ones, but I just know my ears and know that um, they're just tiny and I need like extra stuff to stay in my ear. <laughs> Let's have a look. Tech specs, go on, that's what we want. Audio specifications. Okay, cool, yeah. So the frequency response is 20 hertz to 20K hertz. Playtime up to 30 hours, that's really good. Um, it just makes everything sound like it's been EQ'd, nice, crisp, shiny, nice sounds. You can hear the bass, you can hear all of the bass, you can hear all of the instruments. Um, like, yeah, they sound good. Let's see the reviews. Three reviews so far. Great free tester product. I love my Urban Ears, recommend them to everyone to have a go. Excellent set of Bluetooth headphones, love the grip. So much better than Apple's little slippery things. <laughs> Audio is great. If I had to give a con, it's the battery life. I would like to see a bit more battery life. Okay, you must be listening to like a lot of music then, Fez. Um, so awesome. Love these. Sound great. Yeah, sick. I like them. And they're definitely something that I can use like on a daily basis. I'm not offended by the sound, you know what I mean? Like as a musician. I don't think I'm that fussy to be fair, but at the same time, especially when it's my music, I want it to sound as good as it can, you know what I mean? So yeah, these these headphones, definitely recommend them. And the fact that they're like plastic free, like packaging and made from recycled plastics and they are eco-friendly and these guys are aiming to be like circular and they're aiming to be like carbon neutral by um, 2030, like, you just don't see that in the tech game very often. And I always struggle with buying like new things. Well, I just, to be honest, that's why I don't buy anything new. Like my camera's second hand, my mic's a second hand, my speakers are second hand, my focus rights second hand, like literally all of my stuff that I own pretty much in the world <laughs> is second hand. Like I don't ever really buy anything brand new unless I absolutely have to like socks and pants that kind of stuff like don't want to buy that second hand obviously and like shoes sometimes as well if there's like a specific pair of shoes like if I need like running shoes or I need like whatever then I will but I'll always go to like eco-friendly companies I'll try my best to shop like eco 
because that is so important, um, especially in this day and age with like obviously the climate crisis becoming an ever growing thing every time I do research I get sucked into this hole of pure like fear I'm like oh my gosh why did I do that because now I'm just terrified of everything <laughs> um and I think probably a lot of people get that too I'm just like voicing my concerns and just trying to do the little bits here and there that I can do and if I'm like picking up knowledge along the way why not share it with everyone else? We've got little zero waste hacks and figured little things out. So yeah, definitely check these guys out. Urban Ears. Yeah, man. They're sick. The only downfall for me, personally, is the tapping thingy. Because a lot of the time, and also the fit, like they do stay in my ears, but I do get it every now and then. When I first put them in, if I've not like positioned them quite right, they might fall out my ears a couple of times, but I think that's more on me and my little tiny ears. But I've noticed like if I'm touching them to try and put them back in my ears, the music will stop. And I'm like, oh no, start again. And then I touch it again and then the music will play and then it'll stop. And it's just like, Nyeh. it gets a little bit triggering at times. But I think that's on me with my baby, baby ears. But I think I've just got to get used to it. Um, and the two taps, I like the two taps. Two taps to go on to the next song. I think that's cool. What they're doing is like definitely leading the way. Hats off to these guys, man. Urban Ears. Check them out. They're sick. Um, they've got over the ear headphones as well. Yeah, they look good. They've got like a bunch of different colours. And then obviously they've got the other version of these ones that don't have like the silicone tip. Oh, come here now. They're good for noise cancelling as well. Jeez, I think I've been talking really loud. Uh, I like it though. That's, that's it for the video, um, I hope that it has maybe shed a little bit light on some eco-friendly alternatives. If you would like to check out my music video that I just released um, last month, which I literally released like three days after I got run over, <laughs> it's on my channel, it's called God Complex, and yeah, it'll make me super happy if you go and check it out, peace.